right, folks, welcome to Ocala Arts and Entertainment Podcast. This is a really uh, groovy conversation with the lady sitting next to me. Uh, vibes, peace, humility, her smile, you oh. know, <laughs> and what she does here at this beautiful organization, Marian Cultural Alliance. Ashley Justiniano. Now, that name, Justin, let me know if I pronounced it right, okay? So you want the Spanish version Let's or get the, the English Spanish, version? Both of them. <laughs> Let's get the Spanish one first. So my true pronunciation is Justiniano. Oh. The, whole, the, the J in Spanish, you know, it's like, it's like a, a, a sound. Like an H sound. Right, exactly. Just, okay. Um, but I've had to adjust it here because I say Justiniano and they look at me, huh? Yeah. What? Oh, Ashley, that's common, but Justiniano, right. not really. Justiniano, yes. So it's Justiniano. Yes, and the rhythm of it, Justiniano. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or Justiniano. 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 Oh, yeah. it's, it's brilliant. Thank you. You see what I said about vibes? Listen. So <laughs> you're talking about the MCA gallery director and events manager. I mean, she does it all in this beautiful space. When you walk in, Voila! <laughs> all you feel is energy and all of the nice way she arranged stuff. Uh, so, so tell me something. Um, you are kicking things off from hometown. Which one? From hometown? Yeah, which hometown, hometown are you coming from? Home Island. I'm from Mayagüez, Puerto Rico. You see that? <laughs> so my main language, of course, is Spanish. <sighs> um, but I grew up... Puerto Rico, as you may know, we're, we're um, a commonwealth of the United States, so we grew up with both English and Spanish. Um, so lived my whole life in Puerto Rico, graduated um, from college right in my hometown, Mayagüez, the best college in Puerto Rico. Of course. <laughs> <Boom>. uh, <laughs> and um, graduated 2013, and then 2015 I moved to the States. Brand new, never here, wow. never lived outside the island before. Ooh. It was just, I had a, f a family member that bought a house over here, and he's like, I have an extra room if you want to check it out. Wow. There wasn't any jobs in Puerto Rico, no good opportunities for art majors or just artists in general, and took a leap, and it's the best thing I've done. Wow, so, so you studied at this wonderful university. Mm -hmm. And what uh, did you do there? What studies did you? So it's a long story. I got in through, believe it or not, nursing. Mm. I was going to be a nurse and I wanted to be a doctor and all of Ooh, this because, yes, you know, yes. they don't teach you that you can be, that you can make a career in the arts. Oh, okay. Um, so I got into it through nursing. First year I said, nope, I don't like this. <laughs> That it's not for everybody, and then I appreciate the, the people that do do that every day. Yes. So um, I wanted to switch majors, and I said, well, maybe psychology might be good. I tried psychology. I'm like, it's too much math, too much reading, and I'm like, I had one of my best friends um, studying arts. Right. And um, I used to be with her in all of the programming, all the classes. I knew everybody from the art college or the art department, so, and she's like, why don't you just try it, you yeah. like it, like, um, and I did, and I'm so happy that I found my niche, hmm. and I did, because once I got into, I got in through art history, Okay. Um, once I got to study the arts and just be a part of that department, it just awoke something in me that I didn't know hmm. was possible, so. Um, I'm happy I did, and then I just got into theater as well. Photography was my thing back then. Wow. Did a lot of photography and then film, a, a, a little minor in film as well. So. so you were leaving your hometown with that level of studies mm -hmm. under your belt to come into New York. Well, um, my goal was New York. Oh, okay. But I never got there. Oh. It was too expensive, New York. And the older I get, the less I want New York. <laughs> mm. It's a little too too much, right? you know? And right. there's, um, you know, my goal was to just, you know, take a leap, get out of the island, find right. something, and then work my way up. But 
I found, I've never been to Ocala before. Okay. <laughs> and we happened to be here um, on like a weekend trip um, with the, my family member, my uncle, which was moving here and buying a house. Okay. He loved the area and I surprisingly did too. So wow. he's the one that said, well, if you want to stay with my family and until you get something. Um, and I tried it. So I'm glad I did. <laughs> and you tried it and... It worked. Voila. <laughs> so you are in Ocala, you, mm -hmm. you moved here and you start networking, I imagine, to yes. try and figure out how you could bring your artistic side. Exactly. So how did that happen? So coming into a new town, especially Ocala, where everybody knows, kind of knows each other, yes. it's, it was very nerve wracking. I was working two part-time jobs. I was working at Dillard's. Um, and just retail, and then I saw an application open for the city mm. um, through the cultural arts department, and I met with, um, and I'll give a shout out to Melissa Townsend. Okay, hi Melissa. Uh, <laughs> she was the um, director, the cultural arts director by then, and mm. I interviewed with her. Didn't get the position, but she recommended me towards my next position was at the Appleton Museum. Okay. So that's how I started my arts endeavor here in Ocala. So it was right. at the Appleton, um, was working part-time there and still part-time at Dillard's. Right. Then another opportunity resurfaced back again with the city, but through Discovery Center, the, okay. the museum. Yes. Um, then I started there. Then I moved on up to the cultural arts um, department doing um, art walk and art oh, and city spaces wow. and then that led me to here at MCA. Wow look at that that the chain of events. I know. Yeah and you know what I find interesting about your story is how through your friends back home in Puerto Rico mm -hmm. and they introducing you to the arts and you taking a chance in it and finding yourself then your journey began and you now moving through channels. I mean, yes. it's so beautiful. It is. And the more I think about it, like reminiscing back, like a lot of those friends are still in Puerto Rico. Okay. And they never had a career in the arts, which were, they were okay. the ones that started me into it. But wow. um, it's surprising that, and, the, and the, we're still friends. They're, they're still like some of my best friends. We still did and such, but it's funny how life tends to work. Yes. And it's not until you take those risks and do actually what you're passionate about and what yes. you like to do. Yes. That you just you just work your way in to yes. what your heart um, desires. So just have to go for it. So this position here at the Marian Cultural Alliance opened up mm -hmm. and you through your hat in Went the ring. For it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and how did it uh, come about? Uh, did you receive a call letting you know that you were accepted or email or? Yeah, but the, at the time, Sochi Smith was the gallery director here um, okay. with Jay um, Bailey, which right. was just here, was, um, it still is our executive director. Um, I knew that position was open, so we met um, for a little, you know, just chatting interview slash yes, yes. lunch date yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they thought I guess I was a good fit. Okay. Um, I've known Sochi through the city and our connections before and I always admired. I always say like, if there is a position in Ocala that I would go for would be that one. Mm. Like um, that's one of that was one of my um, you know personal local goals. Uh, right. And I'm glad I did. It's been now, in March, it's going to be my fourth year. Wow. So you are coming into this space. Mm -hmm. So I know it's all excitement and you hit ground. What did you start doing? Did you enter as both artistic director mm -hmm. and, or gallery director, sorry, and events manager? Yes. At the same time? Yeah. So how did you start to pull things together? It was it was tough at first, and I got I got a little training from some Sochi. So it, the first day it was dive, okay. really dove right in and started hanging a whole exhibit. Oh, that was my okay. first day training, right. and just um, you know, because I did it before through the city and right. uh, um, my previous experience at the college and all uh, my university, um, it was it was it came natural. 
Yes. And working here, like Jay mentioned before, and on her um, podcast interview, just working with this staff was, it's been such a, how do you say, a breath of fresh air? Yes. Oh yes. my God, I've never worked with such a, an amazing, first of all, boss that Jay is. Yes. Boss babe. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and just, it just makes it all so much easier because it, it is a lot of work. Um, it's not just putting up the exhibits, it's running the events, the rentals, it's running the gallery gift shop, mm. it's working with the artists directly. Um, so it's a lot of hats that I wear, but working here in this beautiful space and with Jay yes. and our board of directors, yes. it just makes it all easier. Well, I should imagine with the amount of time you called Jay name, that's an extra five years. <laughs> 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 Ashley's going to stay on for five years. <laughs> so all of these events that's happening inside here, you make sure it's set up. As you said, you work with the artists. And uh, what kind of problems have you faced doing, I mean, this kind of stuff? I'm one to, like, a problem solver. I'm known Good. for that. I'm Good. like, if there's a problem, okay, where's the best next solution? Or right. what's the quick fix there? Um, there's not really, I mean... For the most part, is positive. Yes. I love working with artists. Yes. I was an artist myself, so I was an art major. I had art friends, art, and everybody yes, so yes. was in the arts, and my family members also artists. So yes. um, that's the part I really, really enjoy, and just getting to a lot of people when they come in, they ask me, "Oh, do you do art?" I say I don't anymore because my art now is putting up the art right. for the right. artist, so or that's your showcasing yes. these. Um, different art mediums and art um, types for our local artists, which is amazing and a privilege to do. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I could um, safely say that when I first came in here and I met with you and stuff and I met with Jay Bailey and the others, I, I must say that the, uh, the feeling I got and the, the, the ease of just being able to walk in here and talk with you guys and learn so much, nice. I think um, that helps with as you say, you don't really face problems when you have that kind of, you know, cohesion that mm -hmm. exists in a business. Exactly. You know, I saw that you interfaced with some really popular artists okay. in the past. Do you have any favorite artists that you... That's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I know so many folks that you know. Well, there's, and, and all of them have such a... It, it, it doesn't, they don't have to be a renowned yes. national artist. Some right. of the best artists I've worked with are right from here in Ocala. Yes. I mean, right. um, there's so much talent in this town, and in, I love how the city embraces it yes. all, and how that community sense is very much in place yes. between um, all the arts leaders and the artists themselves. So. Um, one that stands out when I was at the Appleton Museum, um, Patrick Doherty, the Stickworks oh, um, okay. artist, did an installation, and that was one of my first experiences, like with a really like a renowned artist okay. coming into and working, seeing his work up close, working with him, getting to know. I'm like, this is a really cool guy. Like, yes, 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 um, yes. And that's mostly it. Like, artists can be so uh, so humble, and then. They can also be dramatic, but that's another conversation. Yeah, yeah that's by itself. <laughs> but that's part of it, you yes. know? It's the passion yes. that comes through. Yes. And that's in visual arts and music and theater and, and, and all the arts. So that's something that really, it makes it, keeps it fun. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I see that every month, and this is all year long, where you feature an artist on the first Friday of mm -hmm. each month. And how does that work? So we change out exhibits every month, and on the first Friday of the month, we have an exhibit opening. Okay, good. Um, to go along with the first Friday art walk happenings, right. which are the same day. We just have it one hour before. Now we're moving um, for members um, only reception from five to six. That's one of the perks of being uh, a Marin Cultural Alliance member, and for the artists as yes. well. So we have special, um, um, special opening receptions. We have um, food, beverages, and wine, and just come and meet the artists, meet mm -hmm. the staff, everybody mingling, enjoying their 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 time, and it's a good way to get involved in the 
in the art scene. Yes, so. yes. And I think what is nice about that is it, it also ties in with the uh, first Friday at work. Mm -hmm. So when people come here and they enjoy what's happening here, exactly. then they go out and they get a really nice experience in Ocala. Exactly. So Beautiful. they're seeing all the artists around because we open five to six, it would be the private reception, but then we have open gallery hours right. during art walk. Um, so it's nice to see that community and that, um, that crowd come in and yes. especially when you got your bucket drumming in the courtyard every Friday, people hear that and they're like automatically driving yeah. Yeah. towards that, which thank you for yeah, sure. that. It's, it's thank such you a also. good, good Thank drive. you for the partnership in, oh, yeah. in allowing me to do that. You're so easy to work with, Sean. Thank I, 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 thank I love it. So we really want to point that out. Thank you very much. So how would you say folks should be signed up? I mean, what would you say to young people who are coming up and want to get involved in the arts? What kind of, you know, steps would you say they should take, you know, towards? Um, one of the things that I really push through everybody that works in through the door and um, wants to get involved, you know, where to start, I just say you came to the right place. Good. This is where we Good. help you take that step, Beautiful. those first steps. Yes. Um, they need to, well, of course, we're a membership-based organization, so right. as a member artist, you get all those perks. We have four member exhibits throughout the year right. um, just for member artists. We have special discounts for artists to our workshops and special events. Um, we have an artist profile for them to set up online. Yes. So many perks. Um, so I tell them, and then we also are putting together workshops specifically towards enhancing your career as an artist. Right. So how to market your art, how to set up an Instagram profile, how to, mm. you know, all of these um, things that a lot of artists just don't know where yeah, to don't. start. Or yes. we give them those resources. So that's, um, I just invite them to just, maybe they don't know if they want to become a member yet or exhibit yet. I tell them, just come to our next opening or right. our next mixer. Um, they're usually just free and open to the public. So come and meet some of the other artists. Hear yes. it firsthand from um, a local artist, mm -hmm, what it's been mm -hmm. their experience. And for the most part, they get so excited. And yes. so, um, and that's how they get involved and they start, I mean, Everybody has to start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. And then we, I like to pride ourselves in like giving everybody that opportunity here for them to just eventually say, okay, I'm ready for an arts festival. I can do FAFO now, or yes. I can go like, I don't know, next step Appleton Museum. And yes. then who knows after mm -hmm. that? So yeah. Yeah. Um, I pride myself in, 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 in our organization to help, we help that yes. happen for them, so. And people could go sign up to become members mm -hmm. online. And online, or they can come in here anytime. Myself or Jonah, or shout out to Jonah, our yeah. amazing gallery. Hey, host. Jonah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's, um, she's amazing. So, or um, anytime, just come in and, and, and fill out an application form. Do it online, mcocala.org, um, or a phone call away, email. We'll make it work. We're very much a friendly staff and um, we'll work with you and um, start somewhere. So yeah. social media platforms, uh, so the website is mcaocala.org. Yes. Instagram? We have Instagram, it's at mcaocala. Beautiful. We have Facebook. Okay. Same name, at mcaocala. Okay. Um, we have Twitter. I think wow. we're on most all of them. Oh. <laughs> but our main um, ones, and, and people keep up with usually these days, Facebook, Instagram. Um, we have a YouTube channel as well. So, um, and of course our website. Yes. Um, so, yeah. Right. So Follow at MC Ocala. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I mean, uh, we could talk all day about this space. Uh, a lot takes place in this space, Marian Cultural Alliance downtown here in Ocala. Um, you have to visit once you come to Ocala, just bask in the wonderful, you should see the space and we'll try to get some, I, I'm going to ask Ashley if she don't mind taking some photos. Yes. I'd let her do it so she could show off the space <laughs> and we will put it in the video.
Ashley, I want to thank you very much for blessing us with your time. Thank you, Sean, for the opportunity. It's been fun. Yes, it's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Hostiniano. Yeah, hey, very good. Or Justiniano. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Pleasure. Sean. Thank you so much. All right, sweetheart. <laughs>